Hello, I'm Molly Hughes in the Denver Post Newsroom with today's Behind the Headlines. You may have seen the inspirational story by Denver Post reporter Jennifer Brown. She profiled a new exercise boot camp for mostly homeless men. It's called A Stronger Cord, a program in which the men gather a few times each week to work up a sweat hmm. with the idea that feeling better physically will help them work through their challenges. Former CBS sportscaster and my colleague Mark McIntosh joins us now. He started the program and he's here to talk about it. Thanks for being here. Hey, no problem. Good to see you again. Yeah, like full disclosure, yeah, we are we friends yeah, and colleagues. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to give you an opportunity to talk about this because there's really nothing bad going on here. This yeah. is a yeah. great program. How did it get started? Well, you know, we got started, we, we kind of realized that uh, basically we have a major problem in America today. We have too many men that are isolated, too many men that are unfit, and too many men that are stressed out. And so a stronger cord, we're going after them, and it starts with the workout. And basically, we warm up, we work out, we hang out. We sweat, we bond, we grow. We challenge one another to become more fitness-minded, dependable, and productive because we believe that that will help us build a stronger cord to our families, to our jobs, and our, to our communities. And it was born from three years ago, I started leading the chapel services at the Denver Rescue Mission. And that's on Thursday mornings. And prior to that, on Thursday mornings, I lead a full body workout class at my gym that I belong to. And so I go down there and I'm talking to these guys about growing stronger in their minds and their spirits. And I'm always talking to them about fitness. And one of the guys one day, 24 year old meth addict, looks me right in the eyes and he says, when are we gonna start working out? So we started working them out and then we realized one of the crucial things we have to do for these guys is rebuild their social networks because their families have kicked them out, they don't have jobs, and they're hanging out with unsavory characters. So we started inviting men from the community to join us who are fitness minded, dependable, and productive. And suddenly you realize that we got a whole lot of isolated, unfit, and stressed out men in our community. So now we're all just a bunch of knuckleheads. We're all coming together, we're working out, <laughs> and we're trying to grow stronger so that we can be more productive men in this community because I think we, the men, have let you, the ladies, down. And speaking of the term knuckleheads, knuckleheads. Uh, yeah. tell us about, where does that come from? Because well, you do call them all knuckleheads. We are, we, all of us are knuckleheads. I mean, you know, I have a past. That there's things I've done in my past that I'm not proud of, and, but for the grace of God, I could have been on the streets. And so we all admit, who are part of this program, that we're all just a bunch of knuckleheads, but from this point forward, we are trying to move from being isolated, unfit, and stressed out dudes to fitness minded, dependable, and productive guys. So we're all a bunch of knuckleheads, but we're all in this together to grow. And what kind of changes have you noticed? I know this started oh. over the summer, and have you seen yeah. these men transform? Oh, one of the guys, Kevin, who uh, lives at the Denver Rescue Mission's Crossing Facility, he's in their new life program. He's lost 25 pounds. He has uh, reconnected with his family. Uh, there's guys who are going through divorces that are not necessarily in a homeless shelter, but they're going through challenges. But being in a group of men and working out together, it, it, it's as much the camaraderie as it is the fitness. And so we're seeing guys, you know, being transformed by being part of something bigger than them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I understand you want to expand this to include women. Tell us we about that. We want to start a women's division because when I talk to ladies, and you included, and you're talking about we're going after all the the uh, isolated, unfit, and stressed out dudes, they go, do you realize there's a lot of isolated, unfit, and stressed out women? Mm -hmm. And another thing that we're starting that's kind of cool, we're starting an outreach program on Saturdays after our workouts, which are at Union Baptist Church at Martin Luther King and Dahlia. So we warm up, we work out, and then we fan out into that neighborhood because mm. there's a lot of isolated men and fatherless boys in that community. And so we're going, the knuckleheads are going knocking mm -hmm. on doors and trying to get the isolated men and the fatherless boys to come and start joining our workouts as well. So we're beginning to start an outreach program. Did you ever imagine when the young man asked you when you were gonna work out that it would evolve into this? You know, I, I didn't, and uh, but it's wonderful. And uh, obviously Jennifer Brown did a great job with us. We're getting calls from people all over the nation wanting to know exactly what we're doing here. And you know, it, it, I think it goes back to all we have to do is read the daily news and what's going on. And, and we all know the benefits of exercise, mm -hmm. the endorphins, get the endorphins kicked in. And, and so we're hoping that you know, we come together, we work out, and then we hang out together, that maybe we can work out some of the differences that divide us. And we'd love to someday be 
moving all around the Denver metro area with workouts all over the place so that we can all work out and then hang out and then fan out into the communities and try, try to make a difference in the communities that we're serving. And we should point out this is, is free and, mm -hmm. and is run by volunteers yes. and nobody's making any money Nobody here getting rich. making a dime, but we do have expenses because uh, one of our partners is Phoenix Multisport, which is right here in downtown Denver. It's a nonprofit that gives us their facility and their trainers, and so we'd like to pay them and stuff. And so people out there that would like to make a donation, they can go to seekvictory.com, and right there in front of your face is a stronger cord. You can click on that, and you can make a donation. That would help us pay the trainers, pay the facilities, uh, provide marketing materials when we go out in the neighborhoods and we're dropping flyers off on people's doors and stuff. We, so we have costs. Mm -hmm. We have costs. Anything else you want to add? You know, just, uh, just encourage people just to show up and work out. It's really very simple for anybody out there in the community that might be interested. There's four benefits. I mean, you're giving back to the community. You're going to meet other people that are giving back to the community. So your social and professional networks will expand. You're speaking into the heart of somebody else who could use a buddy right now because goodness knows that sometime down the road we might need a buddy. Mm -hmm. And we're exercising. All we're asking people to do is to show up and work out. And they're group calisthenics type stuff. And we have yoga and stretching exercises to begin with. So we have something for everybody of any fitness level. We just encourage people to give us a shot, show up and work out, and you'll see what we're doing. What has this done for you personally? What have you, you know, when we give, we usually get more. Well, you know, and I've always been a big believer of that, that uh, if we never grow weary of doing good for others, we'll reap the harvest if we just don't give up. And, and for me, it, it certainly it keeps me busy. <laughs> I, you know, I work out now about nine times a week. <laughs> and so through the holidays, I could eat like a champ because I wasn't putting on any weight. But it, I truly, I, I believe I, this is what I'm supposed to do. You know, I, we've known each other a long time and I've done a lot of things in this town, but uh, I think the gifts that I've been blessed with and the experiences have kind of prepared me to lead a bunch of knuckleheads in trying to transform this community. We've got too many isolated, unfit, and stressed out people. We're trying to transform them into fitness-minded, dependable, and productive people that are building stronger cords to their families, their jobs, and their communities. All right. Well, thanks so much for being well, here. It'll be fun to check back yeah, and see yeah. how things are going in yeah. a year or so. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Great to see you. You too, Mark. Yeah, Mark yeah. McIntosh, the founder of A Stronger Cord. There you go. Thank you. And you can learn more about this program, A Stronger Chord, in Jen Brown's article at denverpost.com. That is today's Behind the Headlines. I'm Molly Hughes in the Denver Post newsroom with DPTV.